hello guys in this short video i am going to be showing you how you can format your manuscript which you will upload on amazon kdp the easiest way and also i am going to show you how you can put your or insert your table of content so let's start but before you start make sure that you click on these three dots right here so if you click on these three dots right here you are doing that to confirm that it is on docs docs format this one not word format okay so when you do that then the next thing you will do is click on this pen with the blue icon right here that's the edit button then you click on the same three dots up here and come to page setup page setup right here when you click on page setup you click on a5 choose a5 a5 is equivalent to six by nine inches when you are going to design your book cover in canva so you choose a5 then you go back and you can see our our document has changed okay so don't forget you are also supposed to highlight everything when you highlight everything you click here let me show you you click on this place right here when you click on it then you click on justify so justify is this very one right here this is justify so as all the write-up will look very very beautiful as you can see in the document right now so now let's insert our page number you can see the document is not page numbered so when you want to insert page number you click on the plus up here so when you do that then you scroll down and here is page number you click on page number and you choose this one the third one you choose this so you can see now our document is page numbered all right so our title page is survivor skills for kid so i am going to make it like this survivor skills for kids okay you know your title page should look attractive in a way and um, okay this is my subtitle let me remove the foot stop so you highlight your subtitle to increase the size of of these what you need to do is click on this symbol up here the a with some lines beside it so you click on the a and you increase the size you can see font size right here so you increase the size then you highlight you also highlight your subtitle you can italicize it you can also change it to um uh, lower case than small letters so let me reduce the space here so that i'll return my pen name to the first page so this is my this is my uh, title page then this is my copyright page copyright francis williams 2023 all right reserved all right reserved okay this is our my title page so this is my table of content table of contents page okay all right so uh this is my introduction so to make your table of content you have to highlight this particular introduction anything that you want to appear in your table of content then you have to make sure you put it on heading one how do you do that it's very easy let me show you so you just click on 
this a right here again that's after you've highlighted what you want to appear in your table of content so i will now come here and choose style okay then you choose style then you click on heading one here right here heading one hope you've seen it clearly now so you click on heading one you can see it has changed then when you click on heading one then you can see the font size is 20 the font style is Arial, but normally i love using this lobster but you can choose to you can choose to use anyone you want you can choose to use anyone you want you see we have this we have um times new roman and many many other ones the fonts you can use but i prefer using this one but it's my choice you can choose to use anyone you like all right then you go back then you centralize it how do you centralize it you click on paragraph here and you click on paragraph then you click on this to centralize it okay so you can see now it's centralized okay so um this is this is part of our heading one so let's go down so this is our chapter one so i'll also highlight chapter one then the second thing i will do is click on the a here change the style to heading one hope you are following then i'll also change the font style to lobster and then come back then click on paragraph and centralize so in case if it is not bold me i love bolding my headings okay so i will bold the heading so let me go back and also bold the introduction so let me also bold the introduction okay so this is chapter one but we have a subtitle under chapter one so i'm going to highlight it i'll also highlight it i also click on that same a plus and click on style again this place okay click on style and i click on style then i will now choose heading two okay you choose heading two so heading one should have a size smaller than heading two the size of heading one is 20 but for my heading two i am going to reduce it to i'm going to reduce it to 15 so you see the difference of five okay so the font style i can decide to normally i use um georgia okay i use georgia right here you understand then i will now bold it so hope you have seen it i will bold it so now it is bolded okay the importance of staying calm in emergency then you make sure that you edit your book in such a way that it will look very nice so now let me do for the second one basic first aids this is all part of uh chapter one this is all part of chapter one okay so for headings like this they don't necessarily have to they don't necessarily have to appear on on your table of content you can just bold them and you are good to go so bring it down so as to start on a fresh page then you can see uh some of the things mentioned under this you can also bold them and you can even bullet them so that the reader will know that okay under this particular heading we have this number of uh we have this number of points so we use this to bullet if you don't want this one with the dotted bullet you can choose to select or you can use number or you can use this 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 or this okay so but i am using this so that is how you will edit your book and follow it uh, step by step so let me pause this video 
and finish up this editing when i'm done i'll come back so this is our chapter two how do we do it i click on e here the style i change it to heading one because it is a chapter then change it to um lobster i'll bold it then i'll bring it to the middle then here is my subtitle i'll also highlight it another title under chapter two i'll click on a up here change it to heading two if you haven't forgotten and i said i'm using georgia i will bold it then uh reduce it to size 15 just as i did for the other one size 15 right here and i am good to go so let me do for the whole manuscript and get back to show you how you can save this for both kindle and paper back all right guys welcome back to formatting your manuscript using your smartphone the easiest way so you can see this is our title page our copyright page and this is our table of content you can see uh, just as we i show i have shown you in the beginning of this video how you can make this uh heading one and also make this heading two okay so that is how you also do for all the chapters and sub chapters you can see how i have uh, put some bullets under some of the headings in the book so how do we now insert our table of content so let me show you how this is very 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 easy so you come to under the table of content you click on this plus up here when you click on it then you click on link right here you click on link after you click on link then the next step is you click on headings okay you click on headings then click on headings you choose introduction then when you choose introduction click on this tick that's this good uh, you click on it you can see introduction is already there then you come down you press enter to come down you also click on link again headings we have also we have already chosen introduction so now we are going to choose chapter one and tick good click on enter again plus link heading we've chosen chapter one so what is beneath chapter one is basic first aids for kids you also choose that you click on good then you click down so that is how you will continue till you reach to the last part of this you can see it's very easy there is nothing serious with this and we have our chapter two so let me pause the video so as not to make the video too long so our our table of content is intact you can see it from introduction to conclusion so anyone you you click on it will tell you follow link so when you click on follow link you can see it has automatically taken us to chapter three so this is how you can insert your table of content now the last part is saving your manuscript to the one you can upload as an ebook then the last one is for paperback so how do you now uh, get um, your ebook format so you click on three dots up here as usual you click on the three dots up here when you click on three dots then the next thing you will do is click on share and export you click on share and export then you click on save as okay save as so for you to save your manuscript for ebook format is you will click on this web page html zipped so you click on this and press ok so it will download it for you it's saying save to drive so let me let me uh, correct this quickly
I want you to note something here. You click on this three dot, then you will say save as Google Docs. Whenever it is in this Word document format, you can never save it as HTML zipped properly. So you click on this three dot, you come here and click on save as Google Docs. When you click on save as Google Docs, then you wait for it to save as Google Docs. You can see now it is in Google Docs format. Then from here, you click on the three dot, share and export, save as, then web page HTML zipped and click on OK. It will take you to your browser. Okay, trying to download. So you will now click on this point right here. So you click there and you click there. So you can see it say open with Chrome Kiwi browser with mail MetaMask. So I'm going to choose Chrome. So if you have Chrome or Kiwi browser, you can use it too. You can see it has two. It is asking me again to open with. So I will still choose Chrome again. So choose Chrome again. So your HTML zip file is saved in Chrome. When you come to your downloads, here you will see Grammarly zip. That's the manuscript. It is in zip file. You don't have to open this file. So far, you have edited and formatted your manuscript the proper way, just as we did. So you click on this three dot here, click on share. When you click on share, you can see copy to right here. You can see copy to right here. So I'm going to choose my KDP folder. Uh, I will now name the, I will click on um, more right here, create folder, and I will name the folder is survival skills so i just name it survival skills okay for the sake of this video then i'll click on survival skills and paste you can see it is in zipped file so when uploading you just directly come here so let's go back to our docs again so we are back in our docs so now we want to you now open it again we want to now download it as pdf for our paperback version so you click on save as then you choose for paperback you make sure you choose pdf document pdf document so same process and click ok so it will take you to the browser again so i always use chrome to download mine you can use your kiwi browser no problem so we are here so i'll click on download 